The Sinai Desert has always been my favorite place to go and practice. Behind you, you have the mountains of Sinai Desert. In front of you, you have the Red Sea. Across the Red Sea, you see the pink mountains of Saudi Arabia glittering in the distance. Just a magic, magical place. I usually do my retreats in the Catskill Mountains. And this was the first time that I brought a group to the Sinai Desert. Sinai is really the perfect location for this workshop because it's just being out in such an isolated and beautiful environment really provides just the perfect backdrop for a really concentrated study. The Turkish split hand technique came out of Turkey in the last 20 years, allowing the Turkish drummers to play faster than any drummers in the world. And that's actually the technique that we will be working on uh, in, in the retreat. The funny thing is that Mr. Ali Ahmed, the inventor of the Turkish split hand technique, um, invented the technique in the Sinai Desert. So in a way we're going back to the source by going there to practice this technique. The, the camp that we go to, Ras al Shatan, is a place where musicians from Egypt and Israel and Europe and all over the world meet and play together. They give us beautiful spaces where we can just really focus. The studio that we practice in was just this, this beautiful room with just this really amazing energy in it. And one night, uh, the power went out. And and we played strictly by candlelight, and that was really just uh, a magical evening up there. Besides the classes that we do and the practicing that we do, at night we get to jam with all these incredible musicians. Everyone is sitting around the fire jamming, and so the Doombeck students get an opportunity to actually accompany these amazing exotic instruments also. Benjamin is one of the greatest Dumbay players that has ever lived. It's just such an incredible opportunity to be able to practice with him in a place like the Sinai Desert. One of the most interesting things of, um, of this retreat is that we are going to Cairo, which is basically the mecca of, of drumming. I had some reservations about spending uh, a week in Cairo, but uh, much to my surprise, uh, I really found myself latching onto that frenetic energy. During the retreat, we practice a composition that I write for the group and then the, um, we get to go back to Cairo and perform at Ewart Hall. Well, having the opportunity to play for Egyptians was really exciting to be able to perform in front of these group of people who you know have lived their whole lives with this kind of music. It was really uh, amazing. When you see them get excited when we play traditional Egyptian songs or, or, or even the composition is really rewarding. It's always the same at every retreat. Um, you show up as a group of strangers and by the end you're like having separation anxiety about having to say goodbye to these people knowing, especially at this one, that you might not ever see any of them again. For some reason, every person that is attracted to the Dumbek is just a really great, nice, fun, down-to-earth person. So I always just get these groups of amazing people. And by the end, we're like a family.